Welcome to Suzuka, a one make race where the car is the Mazda MX-5 touring car. This is a two story video, the story of GSR 52, that's me in the four points livery and also a Mazda that's blue going by the name of Pauline de Quatre. Solid start into the first corner, found a little bit of space, things are looking fairly positive. Meanwhile, the blue Mazda in the background picks up a four second penalty. We're going to watch Pauline start. which largely involves putting the car on the inside, putting the throttle down and pushing cars pretty wide that are outside. Not really a move that we should be trying at the first corner and picking up a heavy penalty. The problem for me is Pauline is now tucked into my slipstream which may or may not lead to trouble so I get a poor run out of there Pauline is gaining she then hits the inside misses the apex by quite a long way Seb MX-5 tags me on the way out I get into a tank slapper and become a human MX-5 sandwich as I am swamped by the pack. Moving into Spoon I end up on the outside and so lose another spot. Exiting Spoon I end up on the outside, lose another spot all because really a poor exit followed by a lunge from Pauline. now I've got a chance to make it all up at this chicane if I just get a good exit hit a bit of space I should be all right unfortunately I make contact with a car that's in the middle of the road going slowly if you watch the black car ahead of me he runs wide pushes the silver car right wide and when the silver car comes back on track at a snail's pace they place themselves right in the middle of the track where they are duly hit. Which is what will happen if you come from off the road and chuck your car into the middle of the track. I give you Sebastian Vettel at Canada and Hamilton's near miss standing on his brakes and the penalty that ensued. Speaking of penalties, Pauline is involved again at this first corner. Uh, a powerful and immovable force. Milky has had enough, having been driven off the track and quits. So Pauline is a solid 50 metres back, but that doesn't dampen her enthusiasm. She just drives very quickly into the back of three cars, picking up her second penalty. The penalties don't appear to bother Pauline, and she tries to get some more successfully here. And then she demonstrates her true colours here, weaving and generally getting in the way while going slowly. Fortunately, that car gets by. And then her final move looks very familiar. Throw it up the inside. Can't manage to stay on track. Pushes someone off the track. And then spins it, shooting herself in the foot on the exit. Well, that is the story of Pauline's optimistic driving. 
back to my race. It's taken me five laps to catch up with 17th place. But I was six seconds off the back and I had a penalty to serve. Chap in front here's just served a 0.5 second penalty. I think he's got his eye on me and knows that I'm coming. He's very, very generous in giving space there. A generosity that I repay at the first quarter. I say, try the outside line. And they say, will do and drive clean round the outside of me. I catch up a little bit later on, get a bit of a run. You can't really overtake here at Denga 1. But I sort of pretend that I might. And that leads to sufficient panic slash flustering to see me get a better run out of Denga 2. Up to 14th, there's a couple of generous gifts ahead. There's a light blue Mazda, got off the track, comes back on and turns into solid form all of a sudden, which frightened the life out of me on my way up. Thought I was gonna hit that car and come off. And Al online here has had a couple of excursions off track. His tires are dirty. He loses control at the hairpin. I pick up another spot, I'm into 12th. And he has the dubious privilege of watching nearly everyone else in the field drive by him on the last lap. So there's the story. A reasonable comeback from 19th from me. And then the rather alternative story of what at best can be described as Pauline's optimistic driving. If you enjoyed that, please like. Thanks very much. Bye bye.